power flow analysis or load flow analysis using newton trapson method okay. newton trapson method of load flow analysis is a iterative method which approximates the set of non linear simultaneous load flow equation to a set of linear simultaneous equation and the terms are limited to first order approximation so the expression for the real power and reactive power be given like this summation q equal to 1 to n vp yp q vq cos theta pq del q and minus del p similarly for qp first the flow chart then we'll discuss the algorithm you need to read line data bus data and the tolerance for del p and del q that is change in real power and change in reactive power then next step is form the bus admittance matrix or y bus matrix then determine the parameters where j varies from 1 to up to number of buses similarly k varies from 1 to number of buses n the next one set the voltage profile as a flat profile voltage which is 1 plus j0 or one angle 0 except the slack bus and now set the iteration count k equal to 0 Now starting with the first bus set bus count p equal to 1 and we know that the first bus is of a slack bus in general so we are advancing the bus count to p plus 1 p equal to p plus 1 and now we are checking whether the bus is a load bus or a generator bus for load bus we need to calculate real power and the reactive power next we are checking whether the bus p is a generator bus or not so is p refers to pv bus if it is yes then we need to go to next step or no means if it is not a generator bus then it is a load bus so no it comes here and in load bus we need to calculate the change in real power and the change in reactive power using the formula del pp equal to pp specified minus pp calculated so in the previous step we calculated the value of uh, the real power and reactive power you need to substitute that here in the pp calculated and the pp specified is given in the problem so you need to substitute and you'll be getting this del pp and del qp for load bus if it is a generator bus then we need to calculate del pp alone for first using the same formula pp specified minus pp calculated and we need to check the uh, q limit reactive power limit will be specified and we need to check whether the uh, reactive power is lies within the limit or not okay if this reactive power q is less than the minimum value then we need to set this reactive power as qp minimum and we need to calculate del qp similarly if the reactive power is greater than the maximum value then we need to set reactive power as qp maximum and then we need to calculate del qp using this formula so this process continues until all the buses are considered so check if p is greater than n if it is greater than n then you need to go to next step if it is less than n then you need to uh, repeat this process for the next bus p equal to p plus 1 now the bus will be 2 and the process continues until the number of bus equal to n and after this you need to form the jacobian matrix using this uh, matrix format uh, do pp by do del and do pp by do magnitude of v and do qp by do del and do qp by do magnitude of v so this matrix you need to form and next obtain the state correction vector del 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 magnitude of v will be equal to jacobian matrix inverse that is j inverse into del p del q next step update the bus voltage new value of voltage will be equal to old value plus the change in value new value of voltage equal to old voltage plus the change in voltage similarly for angle del del new equal to del old plus del del then we are checking the tolerance value whether this change in real power lies within the tolerable limits or not and the change in reactive power within the tolerable limits or not and we are checking the tolerance or the convergence here whether the uh, solution is converged or not if it is not converged then you need to increase the iteration count to k equal to k plus 1 and repeat the procedure until the process is converged 
okay once this del pp is uh, greater than epsilon or del qp or greater than epsilon then we need to calculate the line flow then slack bus power total line losses reactive power generated at pv buses and print the result then we end the uh, algorithm okay so this is a flow chart of newton raphson method for the power flow solution okay now we see the algorithm part of this newton raphson method first step we need to read the following data line data bus data and the tolerance value del p and del q then obtain y bus matrix then step 3 assume flat voltage profile 1 plus j0 or 1 angle 0 for all the buses except slack bus then step 4 set iteration count k equal to 0 then now start with bus count p equal to 1 first bus is a slack bus then for uh, the next bus if it is a load bus then we need to calculate pp and qp real power and reactive power using this formula pp calculated equal to summation q equal to 1 to n vp ypq vq into cos del pq del q minus del p where this del pq is the angle of this ypq ypq we can obtain from the y bus matrix and similarly for qp calculated minus summation q equal to 1 to n vp ypq vq and sin theta pq del q minus del p okay and this term the first three terms are magnitude of the values and here you need to substitute the angle values step 7 check for reactive power limit if this qp calculated is less than minimum then we need to set the qp calculated value will be equal to qp minimum and the qp calculator is greater than maximum then qp calculated equal to equal to qp maximum we need to set then the bus acts as a load bus if there is uh, no violation of the limits then the bus acts as a generator bus or pv bus now step 8 compute mismatch vector using del pp equal to pp specified minus pp calculated and del qp equal to qp specified minus qp calculated now advance bus count set p equal to p plus 1 and go to step 6 until the bus count is n okay so this process repeats until all the buses are counted then we need to compute the jacobian matrix using this expression and for this del p by del del and del p by del magnitude of v and this term and this term will be having a separate expression or equation using that we need to obtain uh, this value and substitute here in this matrix form to form a jacobian matrix then step 11 obtain state correction vector del del and del v equal to j inverse into del p del q and update the state vector new value of voltage equal to old value of voltage plus del v similarly for angle del new equal to del old plus del del step 13 check for tolerance or a convergence value del pp is less than epsilon and del qp is less than epsilon then go to next step and print the result or else you need to increase the iteration count k equal to k plus 1 and go to step 5 and repeat the whole procedure until the values are converged then finally calculate the line flow slack bus power total line losses reactive power generated at pv buses then stop the execution